Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. And you can see not much going on in the Gulf of Mexico. Things are real quiet down there. But as we get out to the middle Atlantic, we're out of satellite imagery. We've got an invest area. This is called Invest 94L. So let's take a look at satellite imagery for the system. So the satellite imagery doesn't look all that impressive, right? There's definitely a swirl there, a little bit of thunderstorm activity. Conditions aren't super conducive for this thing to develop, at least in the short term. So let's take a look at the wider view. Hurricane Center puts out their seven day outlook. They do have a 50% chance of development now with this system in seven days, only 10% in the next two days. Basically what this amounts to is that nothing's going to happen until this system gets somewhere over here, which is more than likely where we're going to see it. Now, a couple of things I'm going to show you the ensemble forecast here. This is the European ensemble. This is a great product to look at for where there's a chance of tropical storm formation in the next 10 days. So over the next 10 days, there is a signal of something trying to develop right there, about a 30 to 40% chance. So you can surmise that's where you're going to get about a 50% chance maybe something down in here, but you can see nothing developing anywhere in the United States in the next seven to 10 days. So where is that system heading? Let's look at the ensemble tracks. Great little location here to see where the system might be heading. You could see all the ensembles. We call this a super ensemble, just not one model, which is always a bad thing. So online, if you see only one model, look away, um, not the greatest thing to look at. So you can see basically the general trend is all the guidance takes it in here kind of moves it to the northwest and people freak out a little bit, but then you're going to notice this right here. Okay. And we can get more into this in a minute, but just looking at the guidance overall, there's definitely a hint that this is going to move west. Let's take a look at all of the guidance. I always like looking at this. It's a great little product. Shows all the ensembles color coded. And you can see there's kind of a split here going on in the in the guidance. Some of the guidance, at least hint the European, there's a little bit of hint of a recurve. That looks very unlikely. Majority of it takes it here and pushes it west. Also notice nothing heading this way. So why is that, Brad? Well, remember those cold fronts, the one that's over us right now. Good, good news. There's our cold front. It's sweeping through the mountains right now as we speak. Let's take a quick look at the temperatures. We'll kind of throw them up here uh, just to show you where they are ahead of ahead of um, behind the front. Ahead of the front, you can see we're in the 60s and 70s. And in fact, uh, probably the high temperature is going to happen real early today. Let me put the temperatures on the map here. We'll take off the uh, satellite imagery just so it's easier to see. So you can see ahead of that front, look at that. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s, but look at this cold air. This is a true taste of autumn. I'd say even winter. And yes, we are going to see some wintry weather coming off the Great Lakes, maybe even some northwest flow snow in parts of the mountains of the southeast. So uh, we're getting into that time of year where we're starting to see the cold fronts come through, which is all great news. The reason this is good news is this starts to slowly turn off the hurricane season, at least for the lower 48. Doesn't completely turn it off for everybody. There's a dip in the jet stream. That's the current dip over us right now. This is the 500 millibar chart. This dip in the jet stream is the cold front. This is why it's gonna be so cold this week. Now, if there were a system down here, this might pull it up and move it like this direction, um, but it would not head it back to the north or northwest. That would possibly be the way. What I want you to watch is over time, there's a ridge to the north of our system. So as we go through time, I got to move this up just so I can move the, the cursor here. You can see through time, we get towards the weekend when that tropical entity might be somewhere in the Caribbean. A ridge of high pressure is building to the north right there. Look at this. So this is Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday morning. So this upcoming weekend, when we could see that tropical system there, big ridge of high pressure. That is not going to allow anything to come north into Florida or the southeast. This would keep the system moving this direction. That's why you're seeing this little hint of an S curve almost in some of the guidance. If we go long range, we'll go all the way out to Sunday morning. Ridge of high pressure over the Gulf of Mexico. Folks, if there's something in the Caribbean, I hate to tell you this. Um, I don't I don't hate to tell you, I'm actually glad to tell you this. Don't buy into hype that this is gonna be some kind of threat. This is gonna move this way. The system has a small chance to move this way, but with this giant ridge sitting right here, you're not gonna get a tropical system to move into it. So this is good news in the long range. Now, do we have to pay attention? Absolutely with this system. We should be paying attention to it the whole time. But overall, the, the good news here is the trend has been a little bit further south than all of the guidance. And we've seen this potential that there's going to be this big ridge building over the southeast, which keeps everything away. So the good news in the short term is we've got a cold front over the southeast. This cold front is going to give us a taste of autumn. These cold fronts are good. As we get more of them through time, this tends to deter tropical systems from moving up here into the southeast so as long as you get fronts and troughs coming down here this is a good thing these fronts coming down 
keep everything to the south. Now, Florida, you're never out of the woods until you get into late November, maybe mid-November. But as you get further north, you start getting less and less tropical systems because the jet stream's dropping down and keeps things down there. So all in all, the fronts are good, even though there's a tropical system out there. Right now, it is no threat to the United States in the next seven days. We'll keep a close eye on it, but as always, we'll have you covered. Have a great day, everybody. We'll have updates throughout the week.